Okay, so I have nothing against a woman who wants equality. That's a good thing, right? What I truly dislike is women who use feminism as a means to obtain something. Sort of like cutting corners and if you speak up, say, hey, that's not fair. They will scream to everyone instead of admitting their mistakes. What happened? An artist from Argentina is going through a lot right now because she cannot face her wrongful doings. Fatima Pechi Caru, member of a feminist organization and an up and artist that worked for the government, by the way, has won awards, good for her, so she's on the rise. She now has an exposition on the Evita Museum in Buenos Aires called Flags and Pennants, where she is showing her paintings. The most famous of them was a part of a series called Femininjas, and this in particular is a ninja Eva Perón right here, where the problem begins. On social media, the exhibition was shown and then a tweet. An anime artist from Tokyo with the Twitter handle Agabo Art came out and exposed an alleged plagiarism case. My fan art has been plagiarized. The plagiarist is an Argentinian named Fatima Pechicaru. This painting has already been sold to Museo Evita, a public museum, for a very high price. I don't know who she is, but please don't buy her art. I do not believe all Argentinians are like this. I am grateful to the kind Argentinians who taught me about this. And then she attached the images so you can see them. Yeah, <laughs> and it all went downhill from here. People everywhere started checking her out and finding that a lot of her work kind of looked familiar. By then, the artist just claimed that people was annoyed by the topic of her exhibition, which was feminism. The nasty part is that she was cashing major bucks with those paintings. And I mean, I guess I have to say allegedly, but you can't see this, right? There's no way this was just inspiration. This woman pissed off the art community of the world. Fatima had an interview because this was a huge deal. A lot of Argentinians were disgusted and appalled. And again, this woman works for the government. That's some extra tasty crap. She brushed it off saying that the people speaking up are just trolls. I'm gonna quote her. They are accusing me of plagiarism and they are putting my work in parallel to an illustration of a girl from Japan, which in turn is based on a movie, My Little Pony. In that case, she is also plagiarizing. All the artists have taken images. They want to run me around, but what bothers them is the subject. It's cruelty with a macho bias. It is part of a type of violence that I received as a woman, as an artist. It is political and psychological violence. It is a form of discipline because tomorrow, perhaps, I will be afraid to say something again. They have already doxed me, which is wrong. By the way, I disagree with the doxing of people. And it can't be that I have to close my networks. It is serious. The balls on this woman? How can you play the victim so effortlessly? It's scary, the mental gymnastics. I don't know if she was in a panic mode and she was just throwing up words or that's her true stand. A newspaper tried to talk to the museum's director, but ugh, the reception, man, it sucked. Just like CNN's. Later on, the director responded on social media saying that the museum did not bought any paintings nor the Ministry of Culture. They belong to the artist and once the exhibition ends, she will take them. Apparently, the paintings are not for sale anymore and there's not a formal complaint against the artist. There's a lot of evidence, but without someone claiming plagiarism, there's nothing to be done. I really love art, but I hate grifters. There's a reason why I despise Yoko Ono, but that's, that's another story. This woman's work, I don't get it. Oh, work in a heavy quotations, by the way. As far as I know, Argentina is a place that has predominantly Italian roots, right? What's with the Japanese? <laughs> to me, this was just an excuse to use these pieces. What do you think?
I guess they try to, in a very boomer way, make the topic cool for the new generation. She's 37, by the way. Not old whatsoever, but maybe she has a grandma brain. I don't know. Help me make this make sense. Thanks for watching. And people from Argentina, is she still going? And are people on her side? I just, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I, I can't. I just can't. I will see you later. Stay safe.